Cop Center presents 10 Cops You Won't Believe Actually Exist. Number 10. Justin Volpe. In 1997, Volpe and other officers responded to a fight at a nightclub. Volpe arrested a 30-year-old Abner Luma, who allegedly punched Volpe in the stomach. He responded by repeatedly beating Luma using his fist, nightsticks, and even a police radio. The abuse didn't stop there. Once at the police station, Volpe kicked Luma in the groin and then squeezed his genitals. He then proceeded to take a plunger and beat Luma with it, leaving him bruised and battered. Volpe was sentenced to 30 years in prison without the possibility of parole and $277,000 in restitution. Number 9. Manuel Pardo Manuel Pardo had an excellent police record. He graduated at the top of his academic class and saved a two-year-old's life with other committed acts of valor. In 1979, he was hired by the police department in Sweetwater, but was fired when he testified for a fellow officer's drug trafficking trial. And then things went horribly wrong. Pablo became overly obsessed with Hitler, and over three months period, he murdered nine people. He confessed to killing six men because of their association with drugs staying that he felt like he was doing the world a favor. Pardo was executed by lethal injection in 2012 at the Florida State Prison. Number 8. Stephanie Lazarus In 1985, John Ruin broke off his relationship with police officer Stephanie Lazarus and married a nurse named Sherry Rusmussen. One year later, Rusmussen was found beaten and shot to death. Her case was initially thought to be a robbery gone wrong. The case of Rusmussen sat cold for 24 years. During the time, Lazarus was promoted to a higher rank. The case resurfaced when an undercover officer tailed her, collecting a DNA sample. The sample taken matched the bite found on Rusmussen's body, and Lazarus was convicted of first degree murder and sentenced to 27 years in prison. Number 7 Craig Payer. Payer was a California highway officer who had a habit of directing young women onto an unfinished ramp to try to get dates. In 1986, Payer pulled over 20-year-old Kara, not who rejected his offer. To his response, Payer beat her with a flashlight, then hanged her with a rope. After the murder, he threw her body off the abandoned bridge. A few days later, the news report found Knott's body under the bridge, with multiple evidence to point back to Payer's committing the murder. He was found guilty and sentenced to 25 years in prison. Number 6. Antoinette Frank Frank was a member of the New Orleans Police Department. Frank shares a relationship with an 18-year-old Roger Lacaze, a drug dealer with a history of violence. In 1995, Frank and Lacaze committed robbery at a restaurant called Kin Ann. Frank fatally shot a fellow officer, Ronald Williams, and executed two members of the family who owned the restaurant. Witness identified the murder as Frank and Lacaze, who were convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to death. This is the first time a police officer was convicted of murdering another officer. Number 5. Drew Peterson Drew Peterson was accused for spouse abuse of multiple women. In 2001, Kathleen Savio, who was Peterson's third wife, was found dead in a bathtub. Savio suffered multiple injuries and a cut on her head. Six months later, Peterson married his fourth wife, Stacy Ann Kales. Stacy was reported missing, claimed that she ran away with another man. After Stacy disappeared, Kathleen Savio's body was found buried and her death was ruled a homicide. Peterson was convicted and faced up to 60 years in prison. Number 4. Gerard John Scafer Scafer was a teacher who was fired for inappropriate behaviors, later became a patrolman in Florida. In 1972, while on patrol, Scafer picked up two teenage girls who were hitchhiking, took them to a secluded wood, and tied them to a tree. Scafer got a call on his radio and left, but the two girls managed to escape and went to the local police department, which happened to be Scafer's station. He was arrested with charges in false imprisonment and assault. A couple months later, Scafer abducted, tortured, and murdered 17-year-old Susan Place and a 16-year-old Georgia Jessup. He was convicted of first-degree murder and was given two life sentences. Number 3. Sidney Dorsey Dorsey was a sheriff from 1996 to 2000. In 2000, he lost a runoff election to Derwin Brown. Disappointed by the outcome of the election, 
Dorsey hired Patrick Cuffey to kill Brown before he takes office. Brown was shot 12 times in front of his house. Dorsey confessed to ordering the hit on Brown, stated that he was furious over the election. Dorsey was sentenced to 23 years for corruption and received a life sentence in prison for the murder. Number 2. William Leisure William Leisure was a traffic cop for 17 years. He was a millionaire on an offshore account and had a dozen Corvettes. It turns out Leisure was actually running a criminal enterprise, stealing cars, yachts, and reselling them for profit. Leisure also organized multiple murders for his scheme. Leisure was arrested aboard a stolen yacht and pleaded guilty to two counts of second degree murder. He was given a sentence of 15 years in prison. Number 1. Luis Valenzuela This is one of those cases you won't believe actually exist. In 2009, Luis Venezuela and his partner pulled over a woman who was walking her dog. The police officer ordered her to get in. During the ride, Officer Valenzuela climbed onto the back seat with the woman. He then proceeded to unzip his pants and forced her head down on his lap, raping and physically making the woman to perform oral sex. Chief Officer Charlie Beck pressed his disgust, stating, These two officers have disgraced themselves. They've disgraced this badge. They've disgraced their oath of office. The two officers now face a combined 32 charges with a lifetime in prison. Subscribe for more.